if a human knew every single thing a human has ever written down on the internet, they'd be able to make all these interesting connections between different ideas and maybe even find medical cures or scientific discoveries as a result. Um, there was some guy who noticed that magnesium deficiency causes something in the brain that is similar to what happens when you get a migraine. And so he just said, give people magnesium supplements, it cured a lot of migraines. So why aren't LLMs able to leverage this enormous asymmetric advantage they have to make a single new discovery like this? Yeah, and then the example I gave was that humans also can't do this. So for me, the most salient example is etymology of words. Yeah. We have all of these words in English that are very similar, like happy versus hapless, happen, perhaps. And we never think about them unless you read an etymology dictionary and then like, <laughs> oh, obviously these all come from some old root that has to mean luck or occurrence or something like that. Yeah. So like it, it's kind of about figuring out versus checking. If I tell you those, you're like, this seems plausible. And of course, in etymology, there are also a lot of false friends where they seem plausible but aren't connected. Um, but you really do have to have somebody shove it in your face before you start thinking about it and make all of those connections. I will actually disagree with this. Um, we know that humans can do, like we have examples of humans doing this. I, I agree that we don't have logical omniscience uh, because there is a combinatorial explosion. But um, we are able to leverage our intelligence to... Actually, one of my favorite examples of this is David Anthony, the guy who wrote The Horse, The Wheel, and Language. He made this it was super Im impressive discovery before we had the genetic evidence for it, like a decade before, where he said, look, if I look at all these um, languages in India and Europe, they all share the same etymology. I mean, literally what you're talking about, the same etymology for words like wheel and cart and horse. And these are technologies that have only been around for the last 6,000 years which must mean that there was some group uh, that these groups are all at least linguistically descended from. And now we have ge genetic evidence for the Yamnaya, which we believe is this group. Um, you have a blog where you do this. <laughs> this is your job, Scott. So um, why shouldn't we hold the fact that language models can't do this more against them? Yeah, so to me, it doesn't seem like he is just kind of sitting there being logically omniscient and getting the answer. <laughs> it seems like he's a genius. He's thought about this for years, probably at some point, like he heard a couple of Indian words and a couple of European words yeah. at the same time, and they kind of connected and the light bulb came on. So this isn't about having all the information in your memory so much as the normal process of discovery, which is kind of mysterious, but seems to come from just kind of having good heuristics and throwing them at things until you kind of get a lucky strike. My guess is if we had really good AI agents and we applied them to this task, it would look something like a scaffold where it's like, think of every combination of words that you know of, compare them. If they sound very similar, write it on this scratch pad here. If there's a combination, if a lot of words of the same type show up on this scratch pad, that's pretty strange. Do some kind of thinking around it. And I just don't think we've even tried that. And I think right now, if we tried it, we would run into the combinatorial explosion. We would need better heuristics. Mm. Humans have such good heuristics that probably most of the things that show up, even in our conscious mind, rather than happening on the level of some kind of unconscious processing, are at least the kind of things that could be true. Mm. Um, and like, I think you could think of this as like a chess engine. You have some unbelievable number of possible next moves. You have some heuristics for picking out which of those are going to be the right ones, and then Gradually, you kind of have the chess engine think about it, go through it, come up with a better or worse move, then at some point you potentially become better than humans. I think if you were to force the AI to do this in a reasonable way, or you were to train the AI such that it itself could come up with the plan of going through this in some kind of heuristic-laden way, you could potentially equal humans. I'll add some more things to that. So um, I think there's a long and sordid history of people looking at some limitation of the current LLMs and then making grand claims about how the whole paradigm is doomed because mm -hmm. they'll never overcome this limitation. And then like a year or two later, uh, the new LLMs overcome that limitation. Yep. Um, and I would say that like, with respect to this thing of like, why haven't they made these interesting scientific discoveries by combining the knowledge they already have and like noticing interesting connections? I would say, first of all, have we seriously tried to build scaffolding to make them do this? And I think the answer is mostly no. I think Google DeepMind tried this, right? Maybe, maybe so maybe. Second thing, um, have you tried making the model bigger? Uh, they've made it a bit bigger over the last couple of years, and it hasn't worked so far. But maybe if they make it even bigger still, it'll notice more of these connections. And then third thing, and here's, here's I think, the, the special one. 
Have you tried training the model to do the thing? You know, just because like the, the you know the pre-training um, the pre-training process doesn't strongly incentivize this type of connection making, right? Um, in general, I think it's a helpful heuristic that I use to ask the question of like. Remind remind oneself what was the AI trained to do? What was its training environment like? Right. And if you're wondering why hasn't the AI done this, ask yourself, like, did the training environment train it to do this? And often the answer is no. And often I think that's a good explanation for why the AI is not good at it. Yeah. Is it like it wasn't trained to do it? 